Happy guinea pig! Nine Acre Family Farm YouTube channel signature dish. Hi, I'm Eileen. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm doing a video signature dish for a very special couple. Uh -huh. Dale and Nana at Nine Acre Family Farm. And what I plan on fixing for them, I am going to be calling Pig Farmer Serpent Her and Bacon Corn Salad. Okay. My ingredients are. I'm using some pork belly. Pork belly, pork belly. And in here I have, for the surf, I have some shrimp. Yay! Over here on this side I have an ear of corn that I'm going to put on the grill. I have some bacon. Salt and pepper for seasoning. I have red onion. Diced tomato. Diced bell pepper. Diced cucumber. And some mayonnaise. Yeah, this is a very simple salad that I'm going to make. And what I plan on doing is doing barbecued pork belly. I'll be putting this on the grill and letting it cook for about 40 minutes to an hour. Back back. And once it gets almost done, I'll be taking it and uh, draining any fat off of it, then putting some back bite on it, put it back on the grill for about 10 minutes or so. And the shrimp I will season with salt and pepper and put on the grill as well. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, First thing first. Is I'm going to put a little salt on the corn. I'm not going to pepper it just yet. I'm just going to put some salt on it. This is where it gets corny, folks. <laughs> and I'm just going to roll this right here in some of this extra salt. And I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, if I can get to wrap it. And this is fresh corn. Just shuck it. And yes, I'm only using one because the last time I made a corn salad, it wasn't this particular corn salad, I used too much corn. So one ear should be enough. And I'm going to take this and put it out on the grill. And I will go check it about every five minutes and turn it about every five minutes until it's done. So uh, we will be back when the corn is done. Or I get ready to put the meat on the grill, whichever comes first. All right, yeah, I have a pan here that I'm going to put my pork belly in. I've already got my pork belly sliced. And I did spray the bottom of my pan to kind of keep this from sticking so much. You got pan, I got a stove, honey. And see, I've kind of got these cut. I'm just going to lay them in here. And, you know, if y'all have never heard of Dale and Nana, which I think everybody on my channel probably has, they are some of the most wonderful people. And I hope to one day be able to meet them in person. I want a Nana hug when we do. Yes. Um, Nana has her own channel called Nana Nine Acres. Uh, she is a part of uh, the Four Sisters. Uh, when they do their devotions on Monday nights. Uh, Dale has his own devotional on Sunday evening. It's a live stream of Dale's devotional. And any other time you see them they will be videoing about just about anything if it has to do with their farm or camping or fishing or uh, they're working on tractors or it's just their family and their life but if you're looking at it smart every youtube channel yeah. is a this is my life Yes. This is what I do and how I do. Yeah, you either like me or you don't. Right. If you do, great. If you don't, you don't matter no how. So, y'all, you know, what I'm going to do with this right here, I'm going to first of all get Piggy these pounds back. Get that. I'm done with them. I'm done with them. And I'm going to salt this pork. This is fresh pork. I always salt fresh pork. I guess y'all didn't see me putting that in there because Piggy had it on me. Well, yeah. Um, you my purdy. Who <laughs> has his purdy? I got mine. Well, you need your eyes checked so I can tell you. Oh, I don't look. Just skin deep. And, uh, like I said, put salt on this. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. And then as soon as my corn gets done on the grill, I'm going to set this on the grill and let it cook for about 40 minutes. And what I'll do is let it cook for about 20 minutes or so, then turn the uh, pork belly over. I'm going to let it finish cooking for the other 20 minutes. 
and then I will take this off the grill, drain it, uh -uh, put that over here on the table. Oh. And then I'll ain't no drain labor. it, and then bring it back, oh, and then once I drain the grease off of it, whatever is on it, I will put barbecue sauce on it, and then put it in the uh, on the grill for another 20 minutes. So uh, we will see you when I get ready to put this on the grill and take the corn off. All right, now the corn is done. It cooked uh, for about 20 minutes, five minutes on each side, wrapped in aluminum foil. Uh, I didn't show you anything about the grill. Y'all have watched me do grill several times. So putting stuff on the grill, taking stuff off the grill. Not to mention a lot of y'all out there are grill masters. <laughs> and I'm not. Uh, I just do a little bit. But y'all Piggy's Better than been, I am. I'm going to be honest, y'all. Piggy has been helping me today with the grill. Uh, he put the corn on, turned it for me. He put the pork belly on. Um, there's reasons for that, and a lot of people know that I have problems with dizziness and weakness sometimes. Today's one of my bad days, but I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm going to do this for Dale and Nana. And, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corn. And Piggy, if you'll hand me a fork, so I can stick it in the... Oh, where's my fork? And so I wonder if I'm doing it, I'll put a fork in the end of my corn so I can cut it off the cob easier. It just makes it easier for me. I can hold on to it. And I can cut, oh! cut my corn. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, I cannot say enough good things about Dale and Nana. They are some of the sweetest people you will ever meet um, or even get to know. Just their YouTube get to know. They are supporters of so many channels in that they do come into your live streams. They watch your videos in addition to doing their own live streams and videos. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dale teaches uh, not, not to mention full-time jobs doing it. Yeah, that's what I said. Dale teaches. Uh, Piggy knows more about that. Piggy, he, he's an instructor, I think, for John Deere. Uh, teaching how to work on them things. And, you know, not just wrenches either, folks. We're, we're talking electronics and wiring and all like that. Boy's got a brain in there. Don't let him be. Yeah, now, he teaches at a school. Uh, I've seen, because I saw the classroom that they were talking about, and uh, he, he is very involved, you know, in his local community, in his local church. I, I, I just, I have to tell you, though, that they're great people. And Dale, I know from talking to you, you said that uh, you love all kinds of seafood. There's a piece of corn right there in corn cob. Oh, yeah, he'll tell you quick. He loves all types of seafood. He loves pork. I mean, you'd have to love pork, y'all. He raises pork. That's it. And that is why this is called Pig Farmer Surfing Turf. And I'm going to put my corn in here. And with all the stuff here, I'm going to put all of the tomato and all of the cucumber, but I'm not going to put all of the bell pepper or onion. I have uh, I have half of the cucumber that has been seeded. And uh, what I did was I peeled it, cut it in half, and I took the seeds out. And then I diced it up into small pieces, okay? So that's half the cucumber right there. And if you use, this is half of a good sized cucumber. If you use small cucumbers, you can use the whole one. And the tomato has been cut in half and then seeded and then cut and diced. Okay. And this right here is one whole small bell pepper that I'm only going to use probably about half of. I need those two bits. Those are mine. You got yours up there. These are mine. Oh, uh, I'm trying to do something else right now, folks. He's cleaning my phone out for me because I never get it cleaned out. I just expect it to work and it don't. She'll remove videos and pictures and things of that nature. She'll never go through and clear out the cache. I'm 
Bait. It's like thing. washing dishes to her. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay, can you hand me the uh, bacon out of the microwave, please? And this right here is about a third to a half of a red onion. And I'm only going to use probably about a fourth, maybe. And folks, if y'all uh, wonder why she asked me to get that out of the microwave, uh, some of you know. <laughs> but for those of you who don't, we got what, six cats? Six cats, and they love bacon. Oh, yeah. And this is going to go. They'll just about fight you for it. So you have to, if, it, it, it's like anything else with a, with a dog or a cat. If you leave it to where they can get to it and leave it unattended, it's, it's gone. It's mine. Because that bacon is soft, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in there. And I'm going to put some pepper in here. I did that with a dog one time. I was in my truck going somewhere, and I'd stop by Hardy's having me a chicken sandwich. And I was having to maneuver around and everything to get back out of there and all like that. And he was sitting in the seat next to me. And I, I had put my sandwich down there, wrapped up, mind you, and everything. Well, when I went to, uh, when I got straightened up and on the road and reached down to get it, well, I got it. I opened it up, bit into it. I got bread, mayonnaise, and lettuce. He had no chicken, y'all. My meat was gone. I looked down at that little dog and he looked up at me like, what? Folks, that dog was smart. He had took and unwrapped it. Y'all can believe this or not, but he took and unwrapped it, slid that meat out of there, ate that meat and wrapped it back up. I was none the wiser. That was a smart little dog. He's a Pomeranian, by the way. And uh, I miss that dog. I don't miss who that dog belonged to. Anyway. All right, yeah, this is the corn salad, bacon corn salad, by the way. And I put a good two heaping serving spoons, so probably about half a, uh, half to uh, two-thirds cup of mayonnaise. And I couldn't get mad at the little feller. That's all of the jungle right there. I left it where he could get to it and left it unattended. That's it. It wasn't. It wasn't his fault. That was my fault. All right. So, got this right here, and I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. From then on, I always put stuff up on the dash. Okay. All right. This is what this corn salad looks like. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until the pork belly and the shrimp are done. And we will see you when we work on the pork belly again. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're back. Uh, this has cooked for 40 minutes, 20 minutes on each side on the grill. I'm going to put it in the oven up here and cook it for another 25 to 30 minutes on 425 degrees after I put the barbecue sauce on it. No. Y'all, this is the drippings that come off of that. That's almost a little bowl full. Put them off to the side. And I've got a little bit of a barbecue sauce here that I poured into a bowl. And into this barbecue sauce, I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup. You don't have to have maple syrup, but if you got maple syrup, you know, pour your little maple syrup in there. Who you like maple syrup? And I'm going to add a touch brown sugar in here. Maple syrup, brown sugar in with this. Barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm saying. Now, my barbecue sauce does not have any sweetener in it other than what is already in the ketchup that I use as a base. That's why it sits so long and I can keep it in the refrigerator for a long period of time. And if you're wondering how long I've had it, this barbecue sauce here has been in the refrigerator since June of 2023. That's how long it has set, and it is still good. It just gets a little bit spicier uh, the longer it sits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to spread some of this on the pork belly. And what I may do is just pour some over here and then just spread it on. Oh, 
that coming through on here. Huh? So don't want that coming through on here. Yeah. So you, you may hear some. I don't know. These mics pick up like Abbott can hear. Yeah. Okay. You got that on there? Pick if you'll hand me a little fork, please. Or a fork, please, I should say. I was going to say, where we got a little fork at? Got rid of all we my got forks. no little forks. I got rid of all my little forks because I don't use little forks. Little forks is salad forks. Now I'm going to turn these over. Address this barbecue sauce on there. Like I said, I've got my oven preheating. Well, I'm helping figure out which side. To turn that thing. There we go. Uh, that side. Yeah. Once these get done, mostly done in the oven, when they have about 10 15 minutes, say 10 minutes left. I'm going to put my shrimp on the grill because it won't take the shrimp that long to cook on the grill. It won't take shrimp long to cook no matter where you put it. Right. It cooks very quickly. So you probably got to wait till it's that's almost done before you put it on there? Yeah, I will wait. I'm going to put this on for about say 25 30 minutes. So when this cooks for another 20 minutes in the oven, I'm going to put my shrimp on the grill. And I'm just going to do a salt and pepper shrimp. Just very simple seasoning. Sometimes simple is best. Because we're going to have the barbecue sauce here and then we've got the bacon corn salad to go with it. And Dale, I hope this looks good to you. I know it looks good to me, it smells good too. I'm saying. Give that to the piggy. Give me, give me. Give it to my dishwasher, I should say. Put it in the dishwasher. Okay, let's get started right there. Put that in the oven. And set the timer for 30 minutes. I can get that little timer to go up. Alright, I don't want to stand up. Alright, we're 30 minutes there. And next time you see me, we'll probably be putting the shrimp together and put it on the grill. Hey, uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to only cook the pork for about 20 minutes. Just to let the barbecue sauce it, because it's cooking at 425 degrees. I figured it's let that cook 20 minutes. So since I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get my shrimp ready to go. We'll put a little bit of salt in there. If you don't want salt, don't use salt. Entirely up to you. I like salt. To each their own. To each their own. And I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm going to mix this up. And I'm going to do it this way, y'all, so it don't stick. Spray a little bit of pan. I mean, you can do a skewers if you want. I'm just going to cook mine on the pan here so it's done. I sprayed that for the simple fact that I don't want my shrimp to stick. And I'm not cooking a great lot of shrimp. I think we've got about 10, 11, 12, somewhere around that in here. Because we've got the pork belly, we don't need a whole ton of shrimp. Just enough to give it a... That's sucker. 11. Okay, we got 11. So one's going to get five, one's going to get six. What we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to have Piggy set this on the grill here for me in just a few minutes. Let that cook. And I'll set a timer for about four minutes. And once it cooks for four minutes, we will turn these over and let them cook for an additional four minutes. And they should be done at that point. Okay. So I'm gonna let, uh, like I said, let Piggy put these on the grill for me and we'll see when everything comes together. That comes out of the oven, the salad's on the table, we'll be doing taste testing it. Okay, y'all, we're back. Everything's ready. And the smell is about to kill us in here. Folks, my tummy has been rumbling ever since she started on this. It smells divine. It does. Now it's time to start serving it some food. Now, Dale, just so you know. Piggy's eating your share. Well, that too. This would be something that, for us, 
it would be great to have some pineapple at all. But we know you can't stand pineapple. So, no, there is no pineapple in this. Oh, man. Let me just soak him. How many pieces of that you want, Piggy? About two, three? Three be fine. Okay. Because, yeah, I'd love to be able to say I could eat half of all that, but the reality is we don't and can't eat that much, so, you know. Yeah, I'm going to be nice and let Piggy have the six shrimp, and I'll take the five, because uh, it's got really? I can't really eat that much anymore. She loves me. She really, really loves me. I does. All right. Uh, yeah, i got to try this. I would keep pork. Belly. <laughs> and it is gone out of the ballpark. Somebody go out to the parking lot and find it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. It's hot because it's probably, uh, man, it's good. He's, he's saying he's hot. He's hot. But it's so, more, it's so tender, y'all. Melt in mouth tender. Shrimp. Very good, very good. Simple salt and pepper. Sweet potato pie and cut my mouth. This is good stuff, yeah. I guess some of y'all know what song that comes from. Yeah. And now for the bacon corn salad. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm. Winner, winner, piggy dinner. I'm saying, well, mm. winner, winner, Dale dinner. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Dale and Nana, thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you. You know I'm thanking you. Mm-hmm. This, um, believe me or not, believe me or not, this is a dish I would have made eventually anyway, simply because I love the idea of the combination. But to be able to make it for the two of you makes it even more special to me. Right. And, uh, I, I do truly thank you both. Dale, Lisa, y'all are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful folk. Brothers and sisters of the heart, I should say, for me and Peggy. We consider for you me, family. it's not just of the heart. Yeah. You know, it is, uh, it has been a blessing to meet you through YouTube. And God willing, one day, we will meet in person. And uh, thank y'all again so much. And y'all, if you have not checked out Dale's, and Nana's channels, please do to, please do so. God can't talk. Nine Acre Family Farm and Nana Nine Acre Family Farm. Both great folk. You can't help but to find something you'll enjoy on their videos. You might find folks just as good, but you won't find none better. So, that, that's what I have to say about all of them I've met. That's it. So thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, y'all. We're back on.